Welcome back to GMT with me, Stephen Sacker. Now, have you ever seen a video promoting a charity and then felt moved enough to make a donation? Well, later today, the Charity Film Awards are taking place in London, recognising the power of those films to raise awareness of global issues. So let's take a look at one of the nominated films, which you may be surprised to find till you see the very end, is actually about the conflict in Syria. Now that is a very powerful ending. With me is Simon Burton, who founded the Charity Film Awards. Uh, Simon, you've been sifting through a whole bunch of entries. Just tell me about how many you've had, on what kinds of issues, and what kind of difference you think, having seen all these films, what a difference these sorts of films can make. Sure, well, we have 400 entries each year at the start of the process. It's completely free of charge for the charities to take part. And then the charities use their own social media followings to gather votes. And we're now at the, the sharp end of the stick. We're down to the final 50. Mm. And what's so interesting about that very powerful film and all of them is they're very diverse. They represent environmental issues, cultural issues, health care, mental health, international development, international aid, the whole gamut of charitable issues is that the vast majority don't actually make a call for donation. They make a call on your heart and mind in order to change and engage. And that's what we're all about. So they're not worthy, they're not particularly earnest, and they are increasingly, it seems, very creative. Indeed, and the one word our judges come back with all the time is poignant, hard-hitting, arresting. These are films which are designed to fulfil the charity's end goal, not simply to prise open your wallet, but to make you change your mind or change your behaviour. Let's look at some of the creativity that's been applied to these films. We've got one uh, that we want to show everybody now that is actually about a charity working with orangutans in Sumatra. Well, yeah, let, uh, we're going to talk a bit. I don't want to spoil the music soundtrack on this because it is very telling. But, but just talk me through the creativity that's gone into this. Simon. Well, well, look at what's happening. We've got clips from the Jungle Book. So there's, there's all of our cultural heritage transposed with closed circuit TV of urban areas which have been taken, uh, which are replacing the forestation in which these animals live. So this film's doing a number of things. It's making us feel good because we, mm. we love Baloo and we love Shere Khan yeah. and making us feel absolutely devastated about the way in which our urban lives impact upon these animals. It's doing two things. It's filling us with hope and inspiration at the same time it's crushingly painful it makes certainly makes me and many of our judges want to do something is there evidence that this sort of promotion works yes so one of the other films we might look at a, um, a film for childhood bereavement its design was not to get money but to make you call if you'd experienced bereavement their hotline experienced a 78 percent increase in calls mm. can you tell us who's won no <laughs> the ceremony's tonight. Every, every one of the charities that takes part is a winner the moment we drive one additional view for their film. Do you think there's... A, well, actually, I'm going to stop because we're almost out of time. There's no point going on anymore. I wish you the best of luck with Thank the you. award ceremony. Uh, that's it from this edition of GMT. I thank you all for watching. Do stay with us here on BBC World News. There is lots more to come. Technology. Service. Zenith Bank. In your best interest. Hello and welcome to Talking Business Africa. I'm Nom Samasego in Namibia.